Hey there fellas, welcome to my first English video on the channel. It has caught my attention that there have been a significant number of foreign audiences ever since my SVIMM video, so I thought I'd do one. Today, we won't be talking about any airsoft guns or parts or war games. Instead, I'd like to do a movie firearm review on the Kingsman franchise. I think that anyone who resonates with 007, James Bond, or the Mission Impossible series should draw interest towards the action thriller genre. Kingsman has also been a modern spy series having two movies, The Secret Service and The Golden Circle, and one prequel, The Kingsman, coming up next year. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first and most significant firearm is definitely the Tokarev TT-30 pistol. It has been modified such that it has a checkered wooden grip and a slimmer trigger. It also has an integrated shotgun attachment for close-range messy situations, as quoted from the movie. It's really slick and fits a Kingsman agent, as the design seems neat yet effective, especially with the suppressor on, as Agent Lancelot uses it in Switzerland. The Heckler & Koch series of pistols also appeared in the movie, for instance the P-30 in the hands of Samuel L. Jackson when he shot Colin Firth, and the USP Compact, used by Taron Egerton in the base of Valentine. Another pistol used is the Beretta 92FS, when Colin Firth pried it apart in the church massacre scene. That animation was just dope. In terms of revolvers, the Smith & Wesson Model 36 was used by Rottweiler when shooting the bulletproof umbrella, and the Model 66 was also shown in the hands of some people in the church massacre. Colt's revolver also appeared in the Golden Circle, when Pedro Pascal used the Action Army 5.5-inch artillery model to shoot some gunmen, followed by a smooth spin back in the holsters. Now, going to the machine gun group, it's starting to get lit. First up is the HNK MP5 with the Kurtz variant, PDW variant obviously with the UMP stock, and SD variant used during the Middle East mission back in 1997. The APC-9 is also used by the gunmen in Valentine's Base in the Secret Service and those in Poppyland in the Golden Circle. A lot of people may think that it's a UMP-45. The traditional Colt M4 is definitely used in the movie as that is for the training of Taron Egerton and the HK-416 in the hands of Mark Straw. The white FN Scar L is somewhat reasonable to be in this action movie in Valentine's Base which suits the white digital camo pattern of the guard's uniform. Moving on to longer rifles, a Marlin Model 1895 SBL was featured in the Golden Circle when Channing Tatum spun it and loaded it in the Statesman winery. That specific one had a grey laminated woodstock and a stainless finish with a tactical rail. That alone is already superb. Finally, moving to the largest rifles of the franchise, we have an Accuracy International AX-50 sniper rifle shown in the center cabinet in the Secret Service, and the M240 and M134 heavy machine guns which the agents hit in Italy. So that concludes most of the significant firearms in the movie, and I'm glad to tell all fans that all guns featured in the movie have airsoft replicas, especially the Shogun Edition Kingsman TT-30 and the 1895 shotgun is also available as a similar replica, was produced by Tanaka with shell ejection. I hope that you all enjoyed the video and got a clearer image of all the guns used in the Kingsman series. I may make another video in the future on how to replicate the gadgets in the movies, like the bulletproof umbrella for BB bullets only, and the amnesia mode watch or even the video transmitting spectacles. Do remember to like, subscribe, and comment below what topics you want me to talk about in the next video. Bye!